What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Kenny? I see you in there. I'm sorry I come in a little bit late. Literally, like, uh, literally, like about uh, five minutes before I was going to go live, my computer just started going crazy. And um, I had to reset the computer. So I apologize for that. So, what's going on? I just wanted to do a kind of a pop up live stream and hang out for a while see what everybody's doing trying to see if uh, some of my new things are working here i'm not seeing seeing you over here kenny but i do see you here there we go you doing all right kenny sorry to hear about the hear about the eagles today i didn't I don't watch a lot of um, NFL. My football was last night. I watch UK. Um, I'm a big uh, UK football person. Well, um, I like college football more. I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully get a few more people in here, but I, it was just a surprise thing. I didn't do any like pre-advertising. Oh, and I was going to ask you since you're in here, Kenny, um, is the audio sound all right? Because I'm using like a new format, as you can see, and I'm running through OBS Studio into StreamYards, and I was going to make sure there's no um, make sure there's no echoing or anything like that. Because when you use this, you got to use like an intermediate audio program to kind of run your audio over to StreamYard. So, all right, cool. But um, I don't know. It's I've everything's all screwed up now. It gives, give me a minute to kind of get my platform realigned here, and I'm gonna. I was going to open up. Um, here we go. I was going to open up, and we'll talk a little bit about. I guess some of the new stuff coming out on DVD and Blu-ray. I've always intended to do this, but never do, and I don't have a whole lot pre-ordered really. Um, I've been kind of staying away from this page a lot because this. Because this Blu-ray and DVD page, uh, the Blu-ray.com, excuse me, it always, um, if I get if I get on here, I always want to pre start I start pre-ordering stuff and get out of crazy. But we'll look through here and see what's out. And uh, let me switch over here, make sure everything. Yeah, there we go. So. Um, who all who who is the quarterback for the Eagles right now? I don't even know. I haven't paid much attention this year. Drink me a little coffee too while we're hanging out. I thought it'd be a nice little. It's kind of cool down here in Kentucky. Nice cool Sunday afternoon chat i might pop open some toys here in a minute open them up um i know some people don't like those don't like me doing my toy stuff but it's fun i've slowed down on the buying just because it's it, breaking me jaylene hurts was he uh jaylen hurts excuse me jaylen hurts um was he was he from alabama is that where he came from? They uh, put so many people. Or I restarted my computer too. Now I'm getting pop-ups. I get all these antivirus pop-ups on here. That's what I hate about. Hate about this stuff. But um, as far as what um coming now is new. I see all this. The Halloween 4Ks are getting released. I think it's... Is that one big set, Kenny? I'm not sure. I, I don't keep up with the horror as much as I should, but I don't, I do like, you know, I do like these classic horror movies and especially the eighties, things like that. Now this classic monsters right here, I have it in Blu-ray and I don't think I'm going to rebuy it on 4k. Cause I, I think it's only like four movies too. I think mine's like five or six movies. So, um, I, I don't, I just not have, I don't have much interest in rebuying everything in 4k. Some people are 4k crazy and, I just, I want to see the movie, and I, I say this all the time, if I um, if I have to get it on DVD, and that's it. Now, 
I am a little bit biased. I, I'm not going to buy it necessarily buy it on. I'm not going to buy stuff on um, VHS or something like that. I'm not going to go that far. But this night shift, I think I have that pre-ordered. I think that's a good movie. Ron Howard. I think it's his first directorial. I think it's a directorial debut. Bu- I believe as far as um, major motion pictures, I believe that was his directorial debut. I do have this Tex Avery collection. I do have it. Um, I do have it um, pre-ordered. I think it'll be pretty cool. Landon Dickerson's. Yeah, but yeah, UK beat Florida last night, believe it or not. Huh? UK is just not, you know, the thing that's crazy about UK this year is they came out with their in their first opener, which is obviously wasn't against a really good team. And they, the, the quarterback that's uh, this year, he's like a, he was a transfer from Penn State, I believe. He's a really good, really good quarterback, but he, um, he came out stellar, just has a gun for an arm. But they, ever since then, they've not played very good there, but somehow they struggled and, beat florida last night i mean florida had a ton of they had a they just had a ton of mistakes and things like that which you know if you have if they have that many penalties and things like that it really hurts you but still florida they're ranked number 10 in the country we weren't even ranked which you know we're not a bad team and um i I still think the sec's probably this year more than any i've seen is like probably one of the toughest conferences in the country it always is one of the toughest conferences in the country but um it's uh this year seems real tough because there's a lot of really good teams out there but i see good teams that play good one week and then they play in weeks like like arkansas got beat but i i think they got beat by georgia i believe i thought who they played and georgia's stellar this year they'll easily run away with the east Hopefully they can be awesome to see them beat Alabama. I don't have really any. Um, hey, what's up? Going? What's going on, Mike? I just seen you pop in there. It's cool for you joining in this afternoon. It's just kind of a sudden, kind of a sudden pop up stream here, and uh, yeah, I mean that, some of those old movies. I mean people. Um, with the classic monsters, a lot of those black and white movies, some people rave about the 4K transfers. And the biggest thing about the old movies is what you're going to get beneficial in a 4K transfer with a black and white movie is your audio. Now, the audio, uh, I admit, in a lot of these movies are really uh, a heck of a lot better in 4K in the, I guess, I don't know what format they're putting on, especially the old ones, which would just be probably a mono track. So I don't know if they're just cleaned up tracks in presented in like an HD style format. I mean, I, and the reason I'm not saying like DTS and and Dolby Digital and all that stuff, I guess it's what's presented in, but I'm not really um, I'm not really sure. But these, uh, but a lot of times the transfers, I, I'm trying like. I'm trying to think of a couple of them I've watched in 4K. Um, like Mr. Smith goes to Washington, didn't look very good. I didn't think it's part of that. It's part of that set, that 4K set. That is that Paramount or who? Who the heck put that out? I'm sorry, I'm bad with names, remembering names. But um, Paramount and but excuse me, but um, the. Transfers just didn't look good on Mission Smith goes to Washington, and and I wasn't really blown away with the uh, um, other other movie he the other crap. I'm sorry, I'm going blank, but um, yeah, I, I, it's kind of like anime. Now I've seen some anime that's been transferred to 4K um, that looks pretty good. Like Ghost in the Shell looked amazing. Like they did just an amazing job on Ghost in the Shell restoring that because it was probably, it, it was all filmed probably on 35 or something, 35 millimeter. It was probably all shot on that. So it was a good medium to transfer it up. But 
you know, some, a lot of times like animation don't really, you don't really gain a lot in a up transferring to like DVD to Blu-ray to 4k. Sometimes you do. And sometimes you don't like uh, Akira, which Akira we've never received. I never received the replacement disc for the actual 4k, the, the H the, what the, it was the, uh, they, they sent us like the standard 4k format. It, it came out, they somehow it got messed up and they printed all these di all their discs on like just a standard 4k and not the, the high, the, um, the HDR, excuse me, the high dynamic range 4k. It's a Wonderful Life is what I was trying to talk about earlier. It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life is kind of curious. It was kind of a curious cut because they had like, a, they, there's a cut in there. It's in the bank. It's it's kind of right in the middle of the movie. It's, there's like a bank scene where, um, and it's just a really bad cut in there. They left a like really bad cut. I don't know why they didn't fix it. I don't know if that's the only because you surely there was some other, better tra better films to transfer from out there, better copies to transfer that was like not. It may have been all the cuts may have had that bad cut in, but it's just a really bad cut in the middle of the scene. It's just it's really terrible. I don't I don't know why they left that, and I don't know if it's just how it is and that's how it's always been. I've never seen like a thirty five millimeter cut, original cut of the movie. Let's see here, I'm forgetting to throw your guys stuff up here. Not a classic, but I watched F9, the last, the new Fast and the Furious last night. It had great audio on the regular Blu-ray. Is that the, is that the newest? Is F9 the newest? I, I kind of quit watching Fast and the Furious a long time ago. And I did want to go see that in a the theater because I did, I thought that would be a good theater movie to see. And I never did go see it. So, uh. Kind of forgot to reshift back up here. But uh, it's kind of funny. I'm, I'm kind of weird about the Fast and the Furious because this will infuriate Fast and the Furious fans, but my favorite is the Tokyo Drift movie. I hate hate to be like that, but it kind of is. I always like that. The be I always thought that was one of my favorites. I always kind of like drifting anyways more the, so than some of the other stuff. But they're they're they are what they are. They if you want to see big action, big explosions, stuff like that, that's, they're they're pretty good, pretty good movies. I do like classic cars versus you know like a lot of the Japanese cars, but still, I, I don't know. I just like Tokyo Drift. I mean, it wasn't a great movie or anything. The I can't remember that kid's name that that was this kind of the star of that movie, but he was um he was uh he wasn't that great in it. It's a kid from Sling Blade, I believe, isn't it? If you got, if you, anybody out there watching, never been here. I'm bad with names, so you have to, you have to forgive me on that. So anything? Uh, oh, but yeah, UK, yeah, UK was just a. Uh, they've got kind of a more balanced team this year, but. They, uh, they've not been playing even last night. I mean, if they'd have played halfway decent, they would have probably scored a couple more touchdowns on, um, a couple more touchdowns on Florida. They, um, they, their offense is really, their defense is what won the game for them really. And they, the defense, um, actually showed up last night and, uh, the offense was like, they got like maybe all night, like one. They were three and out like all night, and they had like one three, third down conversion. I believe it was crazy. I mean, it it, it was crazy to win by a touchdown or whatever it ended up being touchdown or three. I can't remember if it was a touchdown or not, but it was amazing that they won it, especially with Florida, you know, being so good, you know. But the thing is, is the way they built up the new stadium in Lexington, well, it's not a new stadium, but they've taken the old Commonwealth Stadium and they've really vamped it and revamped it and everything and added new bleachers to it and added a lot of new things. And, and 
it's a really it's actually if you have a big crowd there and they get into it it's really loud it's like it's a really loud stadium so it's really hard for really hard for an opponent they they really have you know thrown some of the opponents for a loop this year with their noise so it's it's pretty awesome it's what you expect from a fast and furious movie some really unbelievable scenes like totally dumb scenes yeah but that's how it is basketball i'm ready to watch some wildcat basketball yeah see that's where i would, might have a disagreement with you there I, i'm not <laughs> I, I i'm not a fair weather fan when it comes to sports i try not to be but um you know, I've supported and watched UK for years, and I just I'm tired of that one and done crap. If um, once they quit doing that, I'll come back and watch them. I just want to see some teams. I want them to put together some teams and that stay. That's why I was thinking about earlier before I came on as far as talking about if I was going to talk about sports or not. But um, but I, I wish it would be cool if the basketball followed the same rules as football and they had to stay until they're juniors if you enter college but i think there should be a rule where if you don't want to enter college you can just come out if you're good enough to go out of high school into the pros then go but if you come into college you got to stay three years no matter if it's football or basketball that's my personal opinion on it because this one and done stuff i I, it's only i think it's only financially benefiting calipari i'm sure he's getting no telling what kind of kickbacks from the nba so he's passing on all these players you know bringing them in giving them a couple you know a couple months of you know pro style training and then send them to the pros you know that's about what he's doing and it's just it just aggravates the piss out of me you know and i he's been here for how many years now won one championship and you know you know, obviously the fans want him to win more. I mean, there's more to it than that, but it's just, I just want him to win. They've just had terrible teams for the last three years. It's just almost getting to the point of embarrassing teams, you know. I know supposedly they're supposed to have a good team this year, but. I agree with you. They use the team as springboard for the NBA, which is BS. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, is I, the the play the people are doing that. The, these players are doing that. But um, Cal Perry, he's 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 the one who's inciting it. He's the one allowing it to happen. And well, it's all it's all it's all of NCAA, you know, with the rules and everything. They're just allowing it to happen instead of putting a stop to it. I know there was some things put into place, or they talked about it a couple of years ago, getting rid of it, or making people stay at least two years. But, um, I think if it's the, if there's a rule in, 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 you know, in the football, that should be the rule. It should be the rule throughout all their sports. It, you know, you have to stay three years on a team, which football and basketball and, and, uh, which baseball, I guess too, would be, you could include it in there, but baseball players usually stay three or four years. Most of them had to stay. Cause I mean, baseball players are kind of weird. They, they kind of, I don't know if they can just go right into the major leagues because I think you can go to a minor league team like probably out of high school. There's probably players good enough to do that. But um, most of them, they go from they don't really go from college to the majors unless they're exceptionally good. They usually go from the college to a farm league team and, and, then, they, and then they bring them up into the majors after you know, a year or several months of, if, depending on how good they are. But but um i don't know what all of you guys um what all of you guys been watching here lately i haven't been watching a whole lot um oh i was going to show you this mic i picked i did i did pick this up i haven't watched it yet obviously but i'm very interested in watching it uh thanks for that suggestion I've also, what I've been watching, I haven't watched any movies very much. I haven't watched very many movies lately. It's kind of kind of sad, but but I have, I did pop in this. I have been really into this Mobile Suit Gundam. This is, I guess this is the very first Mobile Suit Gundam series. And that's, I wanted to start at the beginning when watching it. And um, this is where I went to. It's a, it's a pretty good, um, it's a, it's pretty good actually. I, 
And I actually, um, normally with animes, I'll watch it in Jap with the Japanese language and subtitles just because I usually detest the voice acting. But the voice acting is pretty good on this, so I've been watching it in English. It actually matches up pretty good, and it, it's, it's pretty bearable. It's not real annoying. Sometimes some of the stuff is annoying, especially when you have an American actor trying to emulate like what Japanese do, and just Japanese, vocal Japanese vocalization is just a lot different than an american vocalization so the transfer you know the way they word things and this th doesn't transfer over sometimes but mobile suit gundam is really good the, the voice acting is pretty decent and i also have part two i think there's a part three but i can't find it on blu-ray but these bat these some of the guns here are expensive they're like 40 bucks a piece that's why that anime sucks sometimes especially if you fund mation and uh what what was interesting is is I I follow some I follow some companies in anime and this was made by a company that I followed and I just never knew they made this but it's called Sunrise and I had to look over here and I can't remember what Sun I th Sunrise was I'm pretty sure they're pretty sure they um I think they they're behind this series FLCL, which is fully coolly in Jet Japan, but it's called FLCL. It's a really it's a little six part series. It's really good. Um, I might be wrong about that. Somebody might kick my kick my ass for saying that. I can't remember. Um, I don't think they have anything to do with Cowboy. Yeah, cow, they do. They did. Cow, Summarize did Cowboy Bebop, not FLCL. I'm, so. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop. Um, what else here? Space Dandy, which was Space Dandy and Cowboy Bebop stuck in the same universe, but I don't know if it takes place at the same timeline. And uh, also, I'm not. Yeah, they also did Outlaw Star. This is also really good. Another good series. Um, Trigun's probably, I'll have to look up Studio Sunrise here and we'll see. I think they did Trigun. Tri Trigun I don't own. I need to, I need to buy that, the whole series on Blu-ray sometime. But uh, I, you guys like anime much? Sorry, I got away from the chat there for a second. Do you guys like this new format here? I like to do something like this for Cult of Collectors, but you it gets more complicated whenever... I, it gets a little more complicated to bring Cult over to the whole framing over to um, OBS and switch it back and forth. It's kind of a pain in the butt. All these young folks want the money. Yeah. That's all they want anymore is money. I got Macho Callahan, the Sunny Chiba Street Fighter set in a night at the opera. Newest pickups. I don't know. If, yeah, I think I've got that Sunny Chiba set. I don't know if I've... I've got a Sunny Chiba set. I don't know if it's a DVD or... Is that Blu-ray, Mike? Or is that the DVD? Cause I think I got it on DVD, but not... But not a Blu-ray. Valdez Horses and Charles Bronson. Nice. Very nice. You've seen way more Charles Bronson than I have. I always enjoy... The Charles Bronson stuff. I, I on that la one last video, I showed that I picked up one of those Charles Bronson movies. The, I think that first one, where he's not listed as Charles Bronson, you were talking about on one of your. Um, I do watch your videos. I'm sorry, I don't always comment on them. Like I say, I watch, I watch them on the Roku over here, and so I don't have the option to, on there to, um, to interact. And um, anytime I watch stuff on my phone, I make sure I like and well, I always like them on there. But you can like, but you can't, you know, you can't comment. I 
like how it looks. My teenage boys love anime. Well, anime is where it is anymore. Everything's gone. Everything's gone so woke here lately that, like the Japanese, they don't um. The Japanese, they don't really go for that stuff. So all their stuff has been pretty good. Now you'll we'll probably start seeing corruption of anime through like Netflix because they're they're doing a Cowboy Bebop movie, and it just looks um. Well, I don't know. I obviously I haven't seen it yet, but it's already the the st one of the stars, the girl that's playing um, Faye Valentine on there. She's um, they've changed her costume and everything, and she was you know Faye in the in the anime's got kind of a flimsy costume. Now it's not like a bikini or nothing. She wears coverings over, but you can but. But um, Cosplayers has been doing her costume for years. There's no way she tried to say, oh, well, it kept coming apart because it's like wearing, it was like wearing, a, you know, tissue paper or something like that. And it's, it's a bullshit excuse. They just changing the character up. And they changed the, they changed um, Jet Black. Not Jet, yes, Jet Black, excuse me. The big guy with the robotic arm. He's a black, he's a black guy now, which is whatever, you know. But they, uh. I have a feeling that they, I have a feeling it's just not, they're, they're, they're going to ruin that too. And, and, but the, what I was getting at is the, but the girl who was playing Faye Valentine, she came out and was like very vocal against, uh, she was very vocal against, um, the fans. She started, she came out very vocal against the fans and, um, it was kind of annoying. That's what they do now. They just come out and attack the fans, you know, the diehard fans, and say, oh, well, you're sexist, you're racist, and all this stuff, and, you know, just because you, you know, you want them to do right by something beloved you have, you know, and Cowboy Bebop's like the kind of the pinnacle, the, the quintessential anime. You know, it's one of those kind of animes that kind of made, you know, it got really, one of the reasons anime got big especially through being shown through like cartoon network and things like that it's the one that kind of bridged the gap and then you treat it like that you know it's it just um it, it annoys me i also picked this up mike i don't i think you might be the only one in here at the moment but i picked this up i somebody had i know this is like a horror movie but it's supposed to be somebody said it's supposed to be all right so I'm going to check that out here soon. I haven't got a whole lot else. I did order that. I did pre-order that Don Knotts. That I did pre-order this Don Knotts set here. I, I didn't know that was coming out. and I, But it's like 30 bucks. So it's what sucks. It's Don Knotts collection. Which I have two different versions of Don Knotts collection on, um, on DVD. So, um, yeah. Don't breathe. Yeah. I, I think it might be all right. It, it, this is, uh, I don't know if I can get it out without moving my damn, I can't get it out of here without moving stuff around, but there's an ant, there's a Neon Genesis Evangelion set too coming out and thinking december this i have this pre-order too this i'm all they're gonna my bank account just keeps getting hits but i have that pre-ordered that breakfast that Aubrey, audrey hepburn collection seven movie collection it has um let's see here let's see here it has breakfast at tiffany's Funny Face, My Fair Lady, Paris When It Sizzles, Roman Holiday, which I have Roman Holiday already on Blu-ray, Sabrina, War and Peace. That should be a pretty good, pretty good collection. Now they say this you can save now. Oh, this is probably the DVD. Seventeen. I say I better not be better not be seventeen bucks. <laughs> Uh, 
but I didn't expect to get a very big audience this afternoon because it's like right in the early afternoon. So I wasn't really planning on getting a real big audience today. I just wanted to, I was bored. I was like, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, one of the reasons I was going to do this, Mike, was I was going to break out some, I was going to open a couple of toys on here. If it don't infuriate you. There's supposed to be a new round of, um, There's supposed to be a new round of um, G.I. Joe classifieds out right now, but around here, we'll never see them. It's what's aggravating about them. I, it kind of pisses me off, but there's a really cool one out right now. There actually comes with a motorcycle. There's a classified out, and I keep seeing people posting them, but you'll never see them around here. There's so many, um, well, it's not a guarantee, but there's so many... Um, Oh, that hammer set? Yeah. That's... But there, uh, there's so many um, vultures around here. I call them vultures. They're uh, just... They're reselling. And, well, it's not necessarily the person reselling, but we get what we get around here with the tolls. And you probably do it with movies. You'll... Um, Uh-oh. Hopefully I won't um, go offline here. I've got low signal for some reason today. But um, for some reason, um, around here we get, you got well, everywhere. There, People are resellers, but they send people out, or the, I guess they get online, and they it looks like they find like, they find like old women, and it's usually rough looking people, but they get them to go out to the stores, and they basically, they'll be up there sitting there on their phones while they're, um, They'll be sitting there on their phones, like, looking at stuff, especially, like, Hot Wheels and Legos. That's the biggest thing. I think they try to find the cheapest things that they can buy a bunch of, you know, buy, like, a Hot Wheel for a dollar, and then they resell it for two dollars, you know, 100% profit. So you see that a whole lot, but they also do that with regular, the action figures as well. You see them out there looking. They're, they're real annoying. Uh, but I do run into genuine collectors out there every now and then. And I'll usually talk to them. Like you can tell, like a regular collector, they'll be looking at the same stuff you are, and they'll be kind of looking at stuff and not, not ex they're trying to scan it with their phone and get prices and try to figure out what's the cheapest price versus what's on Amazon or something or on eBay. It just uh, gets annoying. I'm all. Uh, I was going to show you guys this. I've been really wanting to open him. I was one. I couldn't decide if I wanted to make a video or this, but this is Retgar. This is from the Studio Eighty Six line. This is from the movie Transformers the movie line. This is what all these are from. And this. Sorry if I'm coming in and out there. Um, Well, we'll see if we stay on now. I'm, I apologize where I'm going. I'm going in and out. But I have a bad internet connection today for some reason. It's terrible. I apologize. I've got, I don't have good internet where I live at. I have basically, um, I basically four, you know, 4G LTE internet. I have like a hotspot style internet. It's something AT&T has for people who live out in the country. And I don't have access to cable internet where I live. So I got poor internet usually it stays pretty good i'm usually pretty good in streaming but it's kind of cloudy today and for some reason when you got kind of storms in the area or rain in the area it kind of messes with it it's just uh hopefully we'll stay up now all right 
I'll see you here in a minute. But I'm gonna to stay on track here. I'm gonna open up Retgar here, and um, for anybody out there watching, um, make sure you guys. Um... Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys. As you can see up here, I'm I'm starting to post videos to Rumble now. Rumble is a um, I would call it a little more um, friendlier site than YouTube just because of um, they don't censor like YouTube does. It's um, not yet, at least. And they do some monetization there. I don't really understand how it works completely. I don't have any followers over. I literally have one video up right now. And I'm going to try to get a couple more uploaded this afternoon. But Rumble... Um, I think they they don't you don't have to have like so many followers before you start getting paid or whatever but you do have to have videos that are like i guess kind of trending but it works a little bit differently it, it basically um i think it sends your video videos out they help you send videos out to different search engines but my one video didn't do very good and uh when i put it on rumble one of the the transformers unboxings it's got about nine views and stuff like that it's not great obviously but i've got you know, I've got one video up and nothing to really go on. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that, seeing those results so far. But let me pop Retgar out here. And I've been really wanting to open him up here. Like, here's Retgar out of the package. See now there's the reflection not as bad with him out of the box. But getting broke away here. I'm excited to open him up. What happened to you, Kenny? I didn't. Did you? Did you leave? Hadn't heard from you in a minute. I was hoping to talk, talk about a little bit with you. I, I meant to say that earlier, and I think I sent it to you a text there and saying that, but. but I'm going to do some boxing unboxings here while I am. While we are talking, so. If you got any questions here, anybody want to talk about AEW a little bit? I'm, you know, I've been watching quite. You know, I watch try to watch AEW each week a little bit. Rampage and um, uh, the other one. Um, excuse me, I'm itching as usual on screen. What's up? I'm just rambling on here, Mike. While I'm opening, opening this uh, guy up. Oh, yeah. There's Gar, Mike. I, I don't know how I feel about these. The, 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 the new there. Looks pretty good. Not a bad looking figure. I don't transfer. Or not though. Optimus Prime, yo, with Optimus Prime was like go back and transform him now without the instructions. But he was he was a booger now to transform. Some of the, some of these new ones are a pain in the butt to transform. Is any, uh, hey, Mike, are you interested in movies in the theater? Um, oh, yeah, I was going to talk a little bit about, um, um, Crab Macho, Crab Macho this week, the Clint Eastwood movie. I guess I seen it last week. I come back, but Crotcho was pretty good. Um, somebody, somebody had posted on Instagram about a week or two ago who went when it first came out. Like, well, this movie's boring, and uh, and I I posted on there said, so, well, probably good. 
so I wouldn't seen it, and it's a, it's a, it's definitely a down truck. I guess that's his weapon. There was the wheels that come out there. I guess the wheels, you're supposed to put one. They really don't have anything to hold them on, but I think you're supposed to put one on kind of like this. Yeah, I, I don't like the fact that they, they just sit on there, too. When he goes in motorcycle mode, I'm sure if they'll, um, they'll set better, but. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping they'd snap in there. That's that's a little as long as you got him posed, he'd be all right. But the wheels kind of want to fall off there. Pretty cool looking. I can't even keep the damn wheels on here. It's kind of disappointing, but other than that, he looks pretty good. Pretty good looking figure. The Studio 86 look really good. I'll show the, the head sculpt looks really nice. We got the mustache and everything. You can see the handlebars and stuff for the motorcycle mode. Pretty cool. But, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, Crab Macho was, um, I thought it was pretty good. It's definitely, um, definitely a, more subdued movie for, I guess, for Clint Eastwood. It didn't, um, there's a lot of, you felt like you had scenes that were building up to maybe some violence or something happened, but then nothing kind of happens, and which was fine. It's kind of good to not see that, It's but it's just kind of a good-hearted little movie. I enjoyed it. Is it storming there? Yeah, that's why I'm having trouble with the connection i apologize there if anybody else else is watching there i really never i never exactly know how many people are watching because it shows that mike's here but it always you never know until you're done to exactly how many um, people were there so but i wouldn't expect in a whole lot I, and i'm kind of just using this as just a way to make a new video that to put out there and people seem to like a like the live stream stuff that i do it usually gets better hits than uh, my regular videos here lately it's kind of weird. I don't know. Her, changing the name of my channels, I believe, really screwed the algorithm up on my channel. And I'm not doing as many movies, but I, I make stuff differently. I do different things because I just want to, I kind of want to spark people's curiosity and like doing different things. I want to do different things on here, even to the point of maybe talking some like mild politics and things like that on different types of videos. I just don't um, know exactly. Or to come, I just like that, and I just I don't want to be an echo chamber, and um, I just don't really know how to approach it. I'm not that articulate either, as far as some of this subject matter. I got a lot in my head, but a lot can't never does want to come out. Doesn't come out correctly. I think we're going to see Halloween Kills, and I want to see the new James Bond. I saw Cry Macho; it was all right. I mean, it's Clint Eastwood, yeah. My microphone jumped away from me there. It might have gotten silent there. Um, yeah. horrible connection today this is terrible i didn't i didn't expect this but but uh, no I, I i think i'm gonna go see the i'm gonna go see the james bond movie now 
be prepared for it to be not what you think from the trailer because i've heard there's a lot of rumbling out there going on with it about the you know the double seven being replaced by a certain um gender and um it's uh and i th think they're covering a lot of it up because the filmmakers and a bunch of the people involved in the movie He came straight out and came. She came out and said, Well, I don't know if anybody stayed around. But <laughs> I don't know if anybody hung around or not, but it, I had a complete internet drop out there. I had to go reset the internet. So, you know, that's how it's going to be. But um, if, it, if I'm still on here for a few minutes, it'll, um, I'm going to try to stick around for a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I, I have a bad feeling about, um, about the new James Bond movie. It um, kind of scares me, but. Uh, the, what I am looking forward to, I am going to go see the Many Saints of Newark tomorrow. And um, I was a fan of The Sopranos. I don't know. What, I haven't watched any reviews on the movie yet or heard really anything. So um, I don't know how it's going to be. So hopefully it's a decent movie. Um, I am looking forward to the new Wes Anderson movie coming out. The I think the French Outpost or something was called French something like that that's coming out here in a couple weeks that should be fun hopefully i hope hopefully wes anderson had went woke so that'll be really disappointing to me if he did but um i'll be disappointed if it turns out to be an introduction to a new female bond yeah i mean i'm a
some of the people I listen to and trust, I um, I trust them with some things, especially with the, uh, especially with um, I guess the like MCU movies, the comic book movies. But sometimes, uh, sometimes you just need to go see them for yourself and formulate your own opinions on things. But some things that I, I just don't really want to give um, necessarily give. Um, Disney my money anymore. That's why I'm not a member of Disney Plus, and I try not to go. I did go see Jungle Cruise a couple weeks ago with a friend of mine, and uh, you know he he liked it. I thought overall it wasn't a bad movie. The reason I kind of wanted to see that is because it kind of reminded me, as far as the title and the movie itself, it kind of reminded me of a classic Disney movie, and um, it kind they tried to do that. There was there was one scene in the movie that kind of didn't need to be there, and um, I don't need to know somebody's sexuality in a Disney movie, a PG rated Disney movie. I don't need to know that, and it was unnecessary to put that in there. Other than that, the movie was all right. You know, it was a it was a MacGuffin chase, basically another one, and um, it was uh you know I I don't know it's just. Yeah, I probably won't see Halloween, though. Oh, you, never mind. I already brought that up. But a lot of movies are MacGuffin chases anymore. And if you don't know what a MacGuffin is, um, I think Alfred Hitchcock coined the phrase MacGuffin. Uh, MacGuffin's just a plot point put in there that's supposed to be insignificant, but it, I guess, helps move the story along. But it's supposed to be an insignificant portion of the story. Uh, like a... I guess, you know, in a way, I guess Indiana Jones movies have a lot of MacGuffins, like, uh, you know, all of them have it, but they're not the focus of the movie. But I felt like in Jungle Cruise, the medallion that she carries around, I feel like that it takes precedent over some of the film. It, it kind of drives the story, which is not what a MacGuffin is supposed to do. And that's what, like... Um, Rise of Skywalker, it was a big MacGuffin chase. It was about this knife, you know, that that dagger that had the map on it. And it was all about this, and it really didn't... It was really pointless in the movie. Yeah, Dune. Yeah, that Dune's definitely what I'm seeing. I about forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. If I keep dropping in and out, Mike, I'm probably going to get off here soon. I just keep dropping in and out. It's horrible. I've never seen it act this bad. Some days I have this horrible internet out here, and some days it's just stellar. You know, it's like download anything quick and does anything. I'm glad I don't have a cult of collectors tonight because it would be horrible trying to host a, a really good guest or somebody cult. Hopefully we'll get you back on cult. But like I was talking about before, Mike, uh, I'd like to get together with you and talk talk movies do like a more of a just uh both just me and you and not have guests and things like that cult was never supposed to be necessarily always having guests but they like bringing them on and i i don't mind it um i don't mind it so much um we've had some pretty good people on there so but uh yeah we definitely need to do the definitely need to do this um Kim Burns. Into his work a little bit and. At the end of this live stream, Mike, because it's just in and out all over the place. It's getting terrible. Um, I wanted to open some more toys here for you guys, but um, it don't look like it's uh, my YouTube is going to cooperate with me. Or excuse me, my internet connection is going to cooperate. It stays up again. If it does it one more time, I'm going to get out of here. But Well, Mike, I think I'm going to jump out of here because we're just having terrible interruptions here. And uh, I appreciate you coming in and you and uh, Kenny Jones, I appreciate it.
And I hope you guys like this new format a little bit. I like to maybe start doing a little for more live streams for you guys and um, more solo and maybe have a couple of guests like Mike on here and talk about movies more in depth than just talking about physical media. But I appreciate you guys watching, whoever's watched today. And um, I'm going to get out of here and talk to you later. Oh, and make sure you follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Rumble, and the Facebook's not quite ready yet, but I'll um, I'll be getting that going here soon. Um, I don't really care much about Facebook, but I've got it on here, so you guys can check it out. And I guess I'll talk to you guys the next time. See you later.